people i'm back from the thrift look at this cute basket i got from the thrift store <laughs> that is too cute anyways i found two little chain i found this cute silver one at the thrift store so cheap also look at what i found at the thrift store too oh my gosh that is so pretty it actually matches my outfit let me put it on look at how cute that is oh my gosh this is why i always go to the thrift store because you never know what you're gonna find i also found this one it could be so perfect for fourth of july and then um i found this it's a little rusty these two are a little rusty so i'm gonna have to like clean them but look at this it's like usa american flag this is so fourth of july coded like Look how cute that is. I have to wash it though, cause it's dirty. And then I found this one. It's giving beach vibes. But I still have to go to Michael's to get some little charms for this long one. But yeah, go to the thrift store first cause you never know what you're gonna find. I would have never found this on Michael's, like honestly. Throughout the years of my thrifting, I've also collected a bunch of fabric. All this <laughs> ribbon. So I will be using this for my embroidery project. I also have this huge bag of thrift flip items that I've been collecting. Um, so I'm definitely going to turn these very basic white t-shirts that I've been thrifting from the thrift store into cool girl t-shirts. I have so many white, plain white t-shirts, like it's so that's what I'm gonna do. Finally gonna get into my hobbies that I've been trying to get into. She's always she's always loud for no reason. Pugly. Pugly. Come here. Pugly shot. She's gonna help me. She's gonna be my little comfort buddy throughout this process of me creating and designing cool things. Okay, let's start. I saw Olivia Rodrigo wearing a bandana on her head, so I decided to wear a bandana on my head. Okay guys, so I'm at Michael's, right? And literally none of the charms were my style. It was also like empty almost, so I'm sure all the good charms were already taken. So I didn't get any actual charms nor beads, so I decided instead that I would make my own charms. How does one make their own charms, you may ask? Well, with the air dry clay. So I got some clay, I got some paint, and I'm literally just winging this as I go. I did not watch a tutorial, I'm sure there are some out there, but pretty much all I did was mold the little clay into different shapes. My three main shapes were hearts, rectangles and ovals and then i just use a toothpick to make the little hole so yeah I'm literally just swinging this as i go and then i'll definitely be painting them as soon as i try look how cute it actually came out i'm obsessed it came out so cute what the heck this is too cute i can't believe i actually made that yeah she made it oh this cute thing 
I made it with clay. The first two flowers. This one is she wants to come out, but I don't know why she's so shy. And this one here is coming out. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. These are pumpkin plants, by the way. Okay, I keep seeing these pictures all over my Pinterest page and I have been obsessed with them. I actually was very excited about this little project that I ended up starting last night without like showing y'all, but this one is supposed to be olives. As you can see, I already did the little patchwork on it. I have this fabric marker to, you know, kind of assist me and then I did this Look how cute that is. Um, I'm gonna continue this little cute project so I could have cool girl shirts. <laughs> Let's do this together. So I had such a fun time making these cute little shirts that I have to show you how to make them yourself because honestly, I didn't even look up a tutorial. I just completely winged this like, look how cute this heart. Oh, that is so freaking cute. And then this olive one that I just showed you is so pretty. And then this howdy one. <laughs> it's so freaking cute. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. Just a little disclaimer, this is about to be the most ghetto tutorial, so forgive me in advance. <laughs> Anyways, all you're gonna need is a plain white t-shirt, this circular embroidery thingy that I just picked up, needle and thread, and any color fabric. I'm just using an old pair of cheetah print pants. And then the rest is like super duper easy. All you're gonna do is cut out whatever shape you want and then place it on your shirt. Use a safety pin to pin it in place so it doesn't move. And then you start to sew just like that. My number one tip, start from the back and then work your way all the way around until you get to the end. Super quick, super easy. Just be careful with your fingers because I did poke myself a couple of times. But yeah, this is how it looks like. It's super duper cute. I love it.